Hello and welcome to an Empower Token Sale Tutorial. Today we are going to go through one step at a time on how to complete KYC. So step one is to get access to the dashboard. To find that out, we go to our website, so empower.io. And if you head to the top here, there's a tab which says Token Sale. Give that a click. Once you're here, you'll see all information related to our token sale. So uh, maybe it's worthwhile having a, a look at this as well. But the, the button which is relevant to this tutorial is this launch token sale dashboard. So if we click on that. Okay, so step two now is linking the email with the dashboard. So you can see here. Okay, so once we put that in, we click this button here, send me a session link. So what does that look like if we come here? Yep, so we have an email Empower Token Sale Dashboard. Please click this link to verify your email. So give that a click. Okay, so now we're here. So the current session is linked to blaine.edwards at empower.io. So again, if we exit the dashboard, uh, we'll have to add this email again and receive another access link. And then once we click on that, it will bring you to the same section. So that brings us to the next section, which is complete the token sale registration. So as you can see here, there are three sections, founding community, terms and conditions, and identity verification, uh, KYC. So what we'll do is we'll work through from the top to the bottom, first beginning with founding community. So we expand that section. So if you own a founding community NFT and would like us to use it to receive priority access to the Empower token sale, you will need to link a Cardano wallet containing your founding community NFT to the token sale dashboard. So it's important to note here that this is relevant to the people that have a founding community NFT. I want to quickly emphasize if you don't have a founding community NFT, then all you have to do is click no. So just again, if you don't have a founding community NFT, you don't have to link any wallet. All you have to do is click no. And as you can see here, that will now turn this icon into a tick. So if this is you and you don't have a founding community NFT, you would then move on to the next step. But for the sake of this, considering uh, a few of you may have a founding community NFT, what I'll do is just go through and uh, link that just so that we can see quickly what that process would look like. So if you have a founding community NFT, then I imagine you have that stored in a Cardano wallet somewhere, whether it's a Euroi, CC Vault, a NAMI wallet, whatever it is. And again, what you're doing to, to link your wallet with your NFT to the dashboard, you need to send one ADA to this payment address. So click that payment address, go to your wallet, make sure that this wallet that you're sending one ADA from is the wallet with your NFT in it. Go to send, Click in the payment address up here and then send one ADA into your password. Click confirm. So I'll just wait for this. Okay, now you can see here that your wallet has been successfully linked. And for security reasons, your link wallet cannot be changed. And as you can see, the downward uh, drop down menu will change to a, a tick once you've completed. So now we can close that and go to the next one on the list, which is the terms and conditions. So what you do is open this to give that a read. Uh, I won't uh, read that on here. That would be a very boring tutorial, but I'd recommend clicking on that and getting familiar with those T's and C's. If you're happy with it and you agree, click that and then submit. And again, the icon will change to a tick to show that you have completed that step. And the third and final one is the uh, identity verification KYC itself. So as you can see with this text here, our service provider is BlockPass and that's who we are, uh, are using to, to complete this particular part of the process. So when you're ready for this, click on the section to expand it. You'll get a status thing here which says not started. What you have to do is then click launch BlockPass. This just gives you a bit of information so that you uh, have an idea of what's required before you start. Um, so to complete the uh, identity process, there are three forms of ID that you can submit, either passport, national ID, or driver's license. And there's also a proof of address component as well. And some information here, you must be at least 18 years of age. And these uh, countries, if you reside in these, you will not be able to participate. So when you're ready, click start. 
So at this step, you input your email. If you've previously created a block pass identity before, you can use that email address here. Otherwise, just use the email associated with your dashboard. And when you're ready, click continue. After you click that button, it will take you to either two pages. If you've created a block pass account before, it will bring you to this. Um, so what I'll do is would pass, put in my password and click login. But if you haven't created a block pass uh, account before, it will send you a magic link. Go to your email inbox, click on that link, and then it'll bring you to the block pass KYC process again. So once you sign in, it will bring you to this section. So for me, what I'll do is I'll click on my uh, driver's license. It'll bring you to the screen uh, and you from here in the drop down, you'll select the country where your driver's license is from. For me, it is Australia. So let's click start. What you can either do is launch a camera. For me, I'm doing this process currently on the laptop. So if I want to use my laptop camera to take a photo of my driver's license, I'd click this button here. But that is probably going to be a bit clumsy. I'd prefer to take a photo on my phone. So what I'd do is try on another device, click this button, email me a link, and that will send you a link to the email that is associated with your dashboard. So from here, you'll open up the link in your email, click continue registration on your phone. And here you can continue it on your phone. So again, you click driver's license, the country that it's relevant to, click start, take photo, review the front side, use picture if you're happy. From there, you take a photo of the back, use picture if you're happy. And then they'll bring you to this page with all that information. If you're happy with that, click save. The next thing to do is take a picture, take a picture. Oh, my goodness. Use picture, saved. So now what you'll do is take a proof of address. Okay, so from here, you can click upload. And what you do is either take a photo of your document or upload a photo. So for me, I'll just take a photo. Yep, use picture if you're happy. Do keep, type in your personal info. So once you're happy with that, you click register. So that brings you to this page, which shows that the process is complete. So what we do here is close and sign up. Because I used my phone to upload the documents, what, I, what I'll do is go back to my laptop. So when you go back to your token sale dashboard, as you can see, this session is linked to my email address. You come to identity verification and you'll see that the status is now changed to pending. As you can read here, please allow up to two days for review. Once they review that, the status will change. And if that was verified successfully, that will be indicated here. In the meantime, if you are having any issues with the process of completing KYC, what you can do is come to our token sale webpage. And if you scroll down to this section here, submit a support ticket, if you click that button, it will take you to this form. And this is the best place to get assistance from BlockPass and Empower in order to help you through your KYC process. So if you are having any issues and you need assistance, I'd recommend completing it and we'll get back to you with uh, assistance as soon as we can. What I'll do is also include this link in the uh, description of this video as well. So you have quick access to that. But I think that brings us to the end of the, the tutorial.